two by four does not just go right in there. Repeat. A two by four does not just go right in there. Guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to talk a little bit more about the uh, the walls that I just put on the Harbor Freight trailer. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link that in the description where I I went to Harbor Freight and unboxed and, and put this whole thing together. Uh, just a quick recap: that thing is going to take you basically all day, uh, and it's best to have help. But I did it without help. It is it is doable. But there is a uh, there's a lot of nuts and bolts and a lot of time to be spent on this thing. I'm going to preface this by saying I do not have my trailer set up to where it can fold. Technically, technically you can because these walls are removable, but I'm never going to fold it, so I don't really care about that. Your mileage may vary, but I just wanted to kind of show you how I did these cheap, easy DIY removable walls. All right. So this little trailer, I have a bigger trailer, but this one I bought specifically for this because sometimes I don't want to take both machines. You know, if I go by myself or something, I want a smaller trailer, easier to tow, things like that. But without the walls, without the walls on this thing, it's kind of sketch. The four-wheeler, that's a big four-wheeler. Uh, there are much bigger ones out there where this trailer may not even work. But it was pretty much at capacity. Not capacity, but it felt uneasy with no walls. You know what I'm saying? Like I had a strap and everything, but it just, it just, just, I just didn't feel good about it. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to do some walls. I looked at some plans and stuff and, and kind of tweaked it to, to what I wanted. Um, so anyways, I'm going to give you just a quick walk around. As you can see, they are removable just with uh, hitch pins, 3 8 inch, inch hitch pins. God, that's a, that's a mouthful there. So you can see I got on every single one of those, every single wall is removable. I've got it braced up here with this. I'll link that uh, where I got these in the description as well. I used uh, 5 fourths deck boards and regular old 2 by 4s all right? These things here, just so you guys know, they are meant to be uh, not necessarily used like this. I got my corners on the back double brace. This is the wall that's going to be coming off the most. So what I had to do, I just drilled out and kind of countersunk the bolt in, or sorry, the nut for the bolt in these uh, in these holes in the corners. That's how I was able to do that. And then these... Uh, you know, I kind of had to get creative. You know, I kind of had to sandwich some washers in there and some deck screws, but uh, it's super solid. I mean, it, it it's really solid, actually. I left just a little room for swelling if needed, but um, overall, it's really sturdy. So anyways, I'm going to try to run through the list here. I ended up buying one, two, three, four, five, six, six, eight foot long deck boards. Okay, write that on your list. Six, eight foot long deck boards. And I bought, uh, let's see, I think I ended up buying, uh, I think five, five two by fours, five eight foot two by fours, if I'm not mistaken. And then just a set of these. It comes with all four corners in the kit with the nuts and bolts. Uh, you may want some extra screws. You're going to need a bunch of deck screws to actually put the thing together. And then uh, I bought eight of these three eighths inch hitch pins. That's how the walls are removable. And let's uh, let's put you in the tripod, and I'm just going to kind of show you how the how the how the back comes off, and hopefully, and it's going to be tight because I built the walls on the inside of the trailer. It's going to be tight getting this quad in here. I've not had it in here since I built the walls. We're going to try it together. Wish me luck. I don't even know if this thing's going to fit. I sure hope it does. Let me show you how these walls come off. All right, guys. Hopefully, that's a decent enough angle for you. Uh, basically, you just take out the hitch pins, you know, one on either side, and then it's going to slide up and out of those little corner brackets. All right, let's try to do this for you real time. All right, now that the hitch pins are out, we're gonna kind of just wiggle it off of there. Let me, uh, let me move you over a little bit maybe. See that and all four sides do that so that's what I was looking for I wanted to be able to still have a flatbed if I needed it for whatever reason but I wanted I wanted some fairly secure walls just to kind of have a little better better feeling about the uh, the four-wheeler back here you know what I'm saying so 
just right through the stake holes, uh, the stake pockets. Uh, the stake pockets, just so you guys know, good luck. I don't know if it's because this is Harbor Freight, which is very possible, but something to note, they uh, they do not, a two by four does not just go right in there. Repeat, a two by four does not just go right in there. I had to shave, uh, I, I, ended up, I tried something different on this one, that's why this one's kind of caved in, but uh, as I was going, I was kind of figuring it out, but I ended up having to sand a little, round off you know this much of the 2x4 to fit in the stake pockets on pretty much all of them uh, 2x4 does not just go right in there so you are going to need some sort of sander belt sander palm sander something like that but yeah overall it's uh it's really secure i mean not so much without a without a back wall but uh let's uh let's try let's try to load the four-wheeler up you guys i it's, i want to video it and if it's a big fail you guys can make fun of me. Let's uh let's do this. Alright guys, hopefully those don't go flying backwards. There's Toby. He's helping today. These ramps suck. These are Harbor Freight ramps. I've had these for a long time. They're all kind of like rusted and hard to open and stuff. They've been okay. You can see that one there like doesn't fold flat very good. But uh, let's do this. Let's see if we can get on there. Alright guys, I don't feel very good about it. So that's uh, that's how you know we're ready. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, let's take a look at this. <laughs> Tell me that isn't uh, a tight fit. I knew it was going to be tight, but I figured it would go. It would just be tight like this. But yeah, for next time, I think I might take off this wall. That way I can jump down and, and put that back on. That's, that's probably the best thing, but I don't know. I don't know. It's on there. I want to add some D rings or some more, some more strapping points at some point. Probably is the next thing I'm going to do. But uh, what do you say we get this on the road? Take a few mile, few mile drive just to see how it does. See if it feels better now that there's some sort of sides on this thing. I don't know. Let me put this wall back on and let's take a little ride. That's a view through the uh, through the back window of the Envoy. Let's, uh, let's do this. See if this thing flies off or the sides fly off. Who knows? I mean, I built it, so there's definitely a good chance of that happening.
All right, guys, I did well on the ride. No issues. It was only about five miles, so, you know, it is what it is. If I'm going to take it any longer, I'm going to strap it down at least in one or two spots. But uh, let's, uh, let's unload this thing. I need to get some new ramps. These things, I don't. I don't think I recommend these ramps, you guys. Like this one's all bent up. I, I've not done anything crazy with them whatsoever. It just sucks. Um, in theory, you could just throw it neutral and roll it off. I guess if you wanted, I'm gonna probably just drive it off. That went too bad. Take the e-brake off. Also, too, uh, they tell you to tow your, uh, like, when you're trailering a quad or something, do it in neutral. Just FYI. Alright guys, just to recap here, <clears throat> easy DIY, removable walls, you need some, uh, you need eight three-eighths inch hitch pins, you need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six to seven deck boards, just get seven to be safe, um, and then the same with two by fours, you need some miscellaneous hardware, if you, are, again, uh, just a, a side note, if you're going to buy these, I'm going to link these in the description, um, and you decide to double brace your corners, you will need to countersink these nuts in there. Okay. The way that, or buy longer bolts. I guess you could buy longer bolts. I didn't want to do that. So uh, these are the bolts that these come with are only long enough to go through one deck board. But the trailer technically still will fold, but I'm never going to do that. And this is kept inside of a garage. So I'm not worried about any sort of water, like long, long-term water or nothing. Only if it rains when I'm towing it. Uh, the trailer itself tows really well. Being a short single axle, uh, it's very like uh, exaggerated. The the turns and, and everything are very exaggerated. Uh, my longer 16 foot dual axle trailer is actually easier to back up than this, just because it's it's not as uh short single axle trailers always pivot a lot more but uh yeah and then keep in mind you're gonna need some sort of sand or something because these uh two by fours will not fit in there from the factory they just won't you have to kind of custom shave each one down to fit in there but yeah guys that's it uh thanks for watching this video i'm not going to do a sponsor or anything like that but i do have some merch i just dropped please feel free I make like $2 a shirt or something, but uh, anything helps. If you guys want to support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Check out my Facebook, Patreon. I really appreciate you guys watching. And for about a hundred bucks or so, you can have removable walls on your trailer. It's a freaking win. I'm loving it so far. Let me know what you think. and We'll see you guys next time.